Welcome back, everybody, to Old Man Animal Dreadnoughts. I'm Grumpy Grandpa Gaming, and this is episode 18 of our Italian 1890 legendary campaign. So, uh, as of the last episode, we finally ended our war with China. We have spent more time out there than I really planned on. That war lasted uh, just a little over two years, causing us to uh, secure Sumatra, Malaya, Anam, Laos, Tonkin. So, uh, we, we got more out of that war than I actually initially expected to, thankfully. But it is a little bit of a distraction as I have to keep a fleet out there now. So, we are now able to refocus on my next objective, which is finishing off Spain, which includes southern Spain, western France, and northern France, because France doesn't exist anymore. Spain is taking it over, and Germany controls the other half of Spain. Map's just in a weird place right now, in a really weird place. Austria hasn't existed for years and still hasn't popped back up again. For some reason, my government's not taking over this region, but staying out of the Balkans is never a bad idea, to be honest. With you. It's just a mess, no matter what time period you're in. So, it is now 1945, so we're going to be going into the refits, and I'm going to start construction on a fourth fleet. Also, so, which I'm not building any more ships than I normally would. It's just I'm shifting different directions on the ships. Uh, we're adding a, a fleet up here at Riga. Because we're probably going to be looking at a war with Russia again. And having a fleet at Riga, or having at least some ships at Riga, I'll be able to flex La Spezia, or the uh, Mediterranean fleet, and the Riga fleet down off the coast here. Because I have a feeling I'm not going to have enough tonnage with just La, La Spezia fleet to land. In France, I'll need that second fleet. I can also shift the Berbera fleet or the uh, East Africa fleet into the region also if I need to. So I should have plenty of power projection here to finish off Spain and uh, basically reunify the old Roman Empire outside. Of my if my government ever gets off its ass and starts going after the Balkans, we can say that. But for the most part, once we have this, we'll have a good chunk of what the former Roman Empire was. Even though we don't control Egypt, they are an ally of us, so we can... I basically say it's under our control. All right, so like I said, we're going to go into the re and going forward, I'm no longer going to show all the refits. I'm just going to show the new ship designs because doing the refits plus the ship designs it causes these episodes to be about two hours long, if not longer sometimes. So I'm going to be showing the new designs on the ships and not all the refits going forward just to uh, shorten the time on it. Alrighty, it's now time for us to design a new destroyer. And we've actually finished a research tree for destroyers, so we do have the destroyer four hull, destroyer three hull, bottom destroyer, destroyer leader, hybrid one, and hybrid two. We're gonna be using hybrid two because it goes up to a tonnage of six thousand two hundred and fifty dead weight. And as our fleets are generally small in nature, I think having the most tonnage available to us at any time is always a plus. And stick with our naming convention for destroyers being named Italian Desserts. This one will be the Torta Ferrosi. Yep, and caps lock is on. Ah! Let's max out the tonnage on you. What speed do you get for your hull? 37 knots for your hull. Max out that range. Standard quarters for the destroyer. And we're going to put the gas turbines in her. Three. We're doing all of the uh, power plant first because it makes it easier designing around the power plant. There we go. I like to say we got plenty of tonnage to play with, but <laughs> we quickly throw the weight onto these things. I highly doubt this minimal tower is going to fit. It, it, oh, it fits. It fits. Holy crap, I am amazed. I didn't think that was going to fit. Yeah. Turbine complex with a bar bed on it. I'm probably not going to do that. 
five times. This is 365. This one does add aiming speed. What do our secondary towers look like? I like that tower. Uh, they all got the... the problem with these towers, they have these barbettes. But they're blocked by this piece right here. So the guns don't face fully rear. I don't like that. Oh, there we go. I like that better. I like that better. Okay. So, we're going to go... And you're too wide. No. All right. Never mind. You're going here. There. Hmm. Not liking the way this looks so far. A lot of forward weight on her. How close I'm going to get you to the tower. And guns. I'm going to go five inch single barrels on her for now. Beetle launchers. I do have the quintuples. I want to see if I can get two of them on here. This is a room to play with. Well, let's get rid of this forward gun. I want to put one up front. Ooh, 15 launchers. Mmm, kind of tasty. Losing one gun forward. Let's take another one. Can't get one there, can I? Actually, I could. Let's turn you around. No, nope, you're not going to sit there, are you? Nope. Hmm. Every time I think my phone's on silent. At least once every video, you're going to hear that damn thing go off. Most of it launching torpedoes, so let's leave that for now. We may revisit that. Got modern one armor. Bet five. Triple bottom. Some bulkheads. Any flood three. Triple base powder. T4. Oh, cat ballistics. Hydroelectric turrets. Auto reload. Oxygen. 24 inches. Oh, that's not sitting right now. Yep, thought so. A little bit. Wow, that we just ran the it up real fast. Incidents. Sonar three. Yeah. Radar. We're over engineering the hell out of this thing. Yep, charges and mine hunter. Don't necessarily need mines on the newer destroyers. It's more for the later later refits for the mines. It's once they become like, once they go to, to uh, Gibraltar to become the port guards there, they can lose the uh, mine hunter and just pick up mines there. So we'll save that off our later refit. Just a length on these fives. We quickly, quickly ran our weight up on this thing. I'm thinking, hey, we got 6,200 tons to play with on a destroyer. We're going to get a lot in here. <laughs> Not so much. 6,009. Oh, 22% four weight offset. Whoa. Well, we did put a quintuplet launcher up front, so that's to be expected. And pitch and roll, probably the most stable destroyer I've designed. 
Gunnery, not much to it, but I just need these to really, once again, drop their torpedoes and kind of uh, get out of the way. Can you go up to 38 knots? I can. 62.11 of 62.50. Go on to the F belt if we can. Yes, we can. 1.3 is as much as we can get. There we go. Forward offsets 11% now. Get some armor on that main belt. Six six thousand two forty nine is sixty two fifty. I think we roll with it. Alrighty, we now get to design ourselves a new like cruiser, and this will be the Trento class, staying with our naming convention of Italian cities. So we are able to build up to twelve thousand nine hundred tons with this light cruiser. We're going to do that. Uh, these things are going to get very, very, very expensive. Uh, I didn't bring it up on the destroyer, but if anybody noticed at the top, that was a $3 billion destroyer that we designed. Uh, I did build five of them. So, uh, <laughs> thankfully, we only build destroyers in lots of five, so that should be fine for now unless we lose a destroyer. Then they're $3 billion in a 10-month build time. Hopefully, we don't have to build too many of those things. All right, this gets a optimal hull speed of 35.7, so we'll give it 36 off the bat, max out the range, max out the draft, max out the quarters, and put in the drive system. Bounce rudder. All right. So what can we do to this thing? What do we got for towers? Hill Enhanced Tower has a barbette. I don't want the barbettes built. These all have barbettes built into them. Okay. I didn't want the ones with the built-in barbettes. That's what we're working with. That's what we're working with. That's got a barbette on it. And that's got a bar. Give me something with a good barbette, not a weird barbette. That one doesn't have a barbette, but I can put a funnel on it. All right. What type of engine? I got the damn barbette. Something without the barbette. Too much. Yeah. That's not going to fit on that. Yeah, we're even weight right now. I don't like this gap there, but I can drop some launchers there if I need to. I'm not liking this forward turret there. I'm going to go to seven inches, as always. I'm actually going to, we actually got triples unlocked, so we're going to put those on. I guess we need a medium barbette, probably an average back here. So they're going to mount these. I'm not doing that. It's probably not going to be big enough for this turret. Nope. Barbet for beam guns. Ah. It'll hold it. So we'll work with it. Alright. Let me get the torps on here before anything else. Let's wing mount these here. Right there too, nice. One more wing mount in the rear. Fifteen torpedo broadside off of a light cruiser. This thing does. This thing's actually going to be doing uh, torpedoes better than our destroyers do. Hmm. They're just not going to be running in the way the destroyers do. That's the thing. 
All right, secondary guns. Give it a three inch triple barrels. We'll go, we're gonna make this thing as modern as we can. We actually slapped these in quite a few places on here. Another one up here. I can. One here. I can. I'm slapping secondaries all over this thing. That's good enough for secondaries for right now. All right, modern armor. I think we're going to have... We might actually have some displacement left over. We'll see you in a second once we get all the uh, armor on. Clicked off screen there, but real fast. Hmm. Looking good on a tonnage right now. This is probably going to be an issue with the break there. Those can still turn into fire. Really. Those things can't rotate in fire. But if the game says it's going to work, I ain't going to argue with it. These have lost their range fan for the most part, but that's fine. Okay, what's badly placed now? It's got to be probably these. Nope, it is these. All right. It was those and these now. I may have to go down to quads. Quads are still good, though. It's all tor torpedo broadside. This casement's got a two-inch casement. No, I can't. All right. Winch is range finder, since you're not long range. Sonar 3. RDF. Radar 2. It's layer 5. Got the charge five. Eleven thousand three hundred seven to thirteen thousand nine thirty-four. Let's put some length on these threes, make sure they all sit where I got them. I got 17% length on them now, so they got a nice long range. Yeah. 12 kilometer range for the AP and HE, basically. How much armor can I put on you? A five inch main belt right off the bat. Okay. It's more armor than I could put on the previous class. Three all around. Now that weight's catching up. All right, 21% four-wheel offset, so we'll go five on the F belt, five on the F deck. Now we're 11.2 overweight in the F, so we'll just drop down that back deck. Down to the main deck. Yeah, down to four. There we go. Halfway to offset of 1%. We'll get that pitch and roll a little more under control. There we go. Pitch and roll is not bad. It's 28%, 25%. That's really not that bad. Not the worst design like cruiser I've ever done. Basically, I'm just turning these things into big destroyers now. It's really what I'm doing with the light cruisers. Torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. Actually, this thing's only like a... These things like only $5 million more expensive than my destroyer. <laughs> That's 
freaking strange. Okay. We'll roll with it. All right, it's time for our new heavy cruiser. For this hull, we will be using the modern heavy cruiser six hull. And so we're going to name conventions. These will be named after Italian rivers. And this one will be the Alcantara class of heavy cruisers. What speed do we get on this hull? 36.5. So we'll give it 37 off the bat. Max out the beam. Max out the displacement. 20,648 tons we got to play with. Ooh. Max range. Spacious quarters. Let's get the systems in. Tell you what, these gas turbine engines are expensive as all hell, but they're worth it for the weight savings. Yeah. Drop this down to 8,984 tons. We are going to be able to do a lot with this design, hopefully. Towers. Hopefully we'll be able to fit one of these funnels on there. What do we got? Oh, that is not going to fit there. Medium. There's a medium will sit there. Oh, this one will sit. Okay, never mind. That's still a medium. Tall angled. No, tall angled's not going to sit. What about number two? Tall angled two will sit. Okay. Alright, weight's still centered. A little bit off. Let's drag you back just a tiny bit. Okay, looks like we're working with something here. We're working with something. I right, mean, superimposed barbet two. Fore and aft. What type of guns do we want to put on here? We've been using the 10 inchers up until now. And honestly, they've been doing good work for us. I think we're actually going to go up to the 11s on this series of ships. We're going to keep the triple bow. We've been using dual 10s. So we're going to go to triple 11s on this design. Get a free spin on this turret. There we go. Maybe too much weight. But we'll see. Harry ran us up to 16,569. Secondaries. Five inches on her. I can get you right here. It says it'll fit there. I'll go with it. Now it's saying it's a bad placement. Now it's not. 17,000. Couple launchers on. Ten, por ten torpedo broadside on a heavy cruiser. That's not bad. All right, let's throw, throw in everything else on and then we'll play around a little more with the armament. Six billion dollars already. Uh, good thing we only build these one at a time. Yep, we just went overweight. I can strip armor off the turrets still. That 
a test, but can Twelve will still set? Yes. Payload. Probably gonna drop her down to dual elevens. I don't think we need the triples. Basically makes her a pocket bat she's a pocket battleship with torpedoes. Four thousand tons overweight. And we're not gonna be saving that in the armor scheme. We could. It's got fifteen inches of armor on the side of this thing. What do I need? We can drop these safely down to 10. And it's still 3,009 overweight. We'll just drop these to 5. That did not help much. Our bet's down to 10. That did not help much at all. Okay. We will not be using triples. Actually, we can drop the... You don't need quad fives. Now these torpedoes are not sitting right. Those. Go down to dual barrels. Actually, let's drop one knot of speed off. Dual 11s. Couple back on here. There we go. All right. We're not going to be using quintuples. Still need secondaries. Go with triple barrel fives instead of the quad. Launchers. How many underwater tubes do we get? We have four underwaters. All right, one thousand tons overweight. That we can take out of the armor on the guns. Back down to ten. Other 133, bring you to 10. 300 tons overweight. Down to three half your armor. 200 tons overweight. I actually haven't increased the length of the fives yet, which is something I want to do. Uh, let's bring her down to Citadel 4. Citadel 3. Just underweight. Just underweight. All right. Give her a little increase on the five inch length. But, uh, I think on the next refits when we get this underweight. I think that's when this goes fully underweight. It's not bad looking. I like the way she looks. To be quite honest with you. I like the way she looks. She looks angry. I like it. Hmm. She's already got a maxed out belt, too. Yeah, we'll roll for her now. Hopefully, with the uh, when we get the next level of armor unlocked, we'll drop her weight a little bit more. She make for a heavy cruiser making thirty six knots with a just under thirty thousand kilometer range. I mean, can't complain outside the price tag, which is only a billion dollars more than the light cruiser. So I'm not going to complain too much about that price tag. All right, it's now time to design ourselves a new battle cruiser. 
So if anybody's wondering how long this is taking, because uh, I'm doing this after the refits on each type, it's uh, I'm averaging an hour on all the refits at this point. That's been before designing the new ship. So this is taking me quite a while. There's a reason I cut out all the uh, refits for the most part, and just the new designs are shown. So we're going to be using the fast battleship design for the battle cruiser, because we can get this up to 75,000 tons. But we can get it heavier than that with a you know, maxed out beam, which is exactly what we're going to do. Max out the beam, max out the tonnage. 79,414 ton battle cruiser. Optimal speed to 32.5, so we'll give her 33 off the bat, max that range. Max quarters, get a propulsion up and running. Oh, why have I been doing that? I really don't think we're going to have as much room to play with as I thought. Well, we may have to go back to gear turbines. Nuts. 38,236 gas turbines. 33,240. Okay, it's worth the extra money. 26 billion already. All right. Main tower. Iron Hands Tower. That's a big boy. Right there, centered. Secondary tower. Okay, that's gonna have to move. Wait, still centered. Let's see what happens with the funnels. Mega Funnel 7. It's still centered. And we're going to stay with 15s, triple barrels, on the battle cruisers for now. I'm going to have a weight problem. You and I come forward. It's right there. Massive half weight offset. We'll move stuff around. We will move things around. That's not going to be big enough for that turret. Spinning, you are. You are not. There we go. Can I help with our weight? 30% half weight offset. That's actually not that bad. Pitch and roll well under control and an efficiency of 118%. Secondaries. We're going to stick with five inches. Triple barrel. About the turrets back by this turret if we can. Not come off. There we go. No spare guns anywhere. Okay. As long as I can't up these size, let's go with the quintuplets again. See if we can't force them to fit where I want them to. Size. All right. Game says it works. <laughs> I'll roll with it. And can I get single barrels up on the superstructure? I can. But not with these turrets. That's fine. She's well armed as it is. All right. 
Now for all the goodies. Yeah, those citadels took up a lot of weight. We'll go with heavy shells. Sneaky, sneaky torpedoes, increased loadout. So I have been going through a lot of torpedoes in the battles recently. And we're going to go overweight with the electronics, but once again, we'll strip armor off the turrets. And we're not too heavily overweight, so the armor coming off the main guns will help a lot. What do we got right now? 14.8 inches of armor. Thousand meters and need thirty three inches, but I can actually strip her down safely to five inches basically for these guns. I'm not gonna strip them down that far though. Take that down to ten. Down to ten. You're under tons of overweight. Okay, we'll go eight and eight. Five's down to five. 79,018, 79,414. Increase the length on the fives. All right. A few hundred tons to play with here. It's not going to be added to speed. A little bit of an aft weight offset, so we'll just add some onto the forward belt and forward deck. That's too much, okay. 10% eh, aft weight offset, so her bow will be a little high, that's no big deal. Kind of liking the way she looks. A right range finder? I did give it a right range finder. Okay. Honestly, I like the way she looks. Did I give her her name yet? No, I did not. This will be as we are naming the battle cruisers after regions of Italy. Friuli Venezia. Giulia. This is a big girl. I like it. All right, we now get to design ourselves a new battleship. And once again, we're going to be using the super battleship layout. And this will be the Domitian. Sticking with our naming convention of battleships being named after emperors. Let's see how much tonnage we can get out of this girl. All right, we're still the same tonnage as the previous two classes. Let's make 33 knots on this hull. So we haven't been able to get... No, I didn't mean to bring the draft up. I want that at zero. I mean, I can get more times by bringing the draft up, but I don't want the draft to be... I don't want her too high in the water. All right, let's get the propulsion system in. So the uh, ship before this, the, uh, the Titus... Uh, some of you guys are going to call me crazy for what I did. I didn't increase the amount of guns I, that she had because I had plenty of tons to play with once I upgraded her engine systems and armor. She now has a 25 torpedo broadside. Yep, you heard me. 25 torpedo broadside. I cannot wait to see that thing in action. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's set all the armor on also while we're at it. We 
definitely not, not going to get that done on this ship, as the previous Titus did have the, you know, different towers, not as upgraded towers. I want that tower to, there we go, well, crap, there you go. And she had smaller guns. I'm going to go with, because she had 15s on the Titus. The 16s are now Mark three. 17s are Mark two. 18s. Okay, so we're at least going to go up to the 16s because they're Mark three now. I'm not putting anything on that's lower than a Mark three on any of my ships. So we're going to need... Very tall barbettes. You're gonna let me put a gun down here this time. We'll see. And let's throw the quads on there. It's probably gonna be too much weight, but uh, we'll see. Both have a full spin. I'm not going to be able to put these on the lower deck without putting it on a bar bet. Okay. Uh, you have a full spin, but I can bring you back just a little bit. I have that full spin now. All right, over to one. I don't think you have it. You have it. And I got one more spike. Move you up and should still have that full spin. So it does not anymore. Right there. Yeah, you can spin fully. You can spin fully. Just, uh. I didn't mean to take you off. Let's see here. No, we do not have the full spin. All right. I'm not shortening the barrels. Can I move you back a little bit more? Just a little bit more. All right, you get a full spin now. Tiny bit more. A little too far. Yep. Spin. Still no full spin. Alright, she's got spin now. And you lost it. I'd rather... You know, I'd rather have the bar bet on a full spin. So we'll leave that as is. Actually... Why am I messing around like that? Let's move you up a little bit. You have a little bit of an half weight offset, so this is fine. Back. There we go. Full spin around. You kept yours, and you still have yours. Perfect. That already ran us up to 90,000 tons. Ninety-three thousand tons. Nice. Alright, secondaries. We're gonna stay with the six inchers. These are Mark IVs. Triple barrels. What is three of these? Oh, we got the funnels. That's never a good thing. Are you going to sit in there? Yes, you are. That inefficiency sucks. I don't need another... I don't want to add another funnel on, though. T 
18 torpedo broadside. All right, still underweight. Good. Very good, but we're about to go overweight with the electronics. Possibly the shells, but once again, I can always take the armor off of the turrets. I know those things have got a lot of armor on them. And I can also drop them down to three guns if I need to. The quad turret, the the uh, the quad turrets are still fairly new technology for us. Way overweight. Okay. Could also increase the beam to get that under. 16s. What do I need for you? Really can't strip too much armor off of these. I could safely take them to 15. Have our bet to 10. Let's drop these sixers down to four inches of armor. 5,242. Not dropping speed. Drop to standard quarters. Drop some range. Still way overweight. Okay, we're going to drop the 16s down the triples. Select the gun. Back there, huh? Back down again. All right, still 4,000 tons overweight, but that's better. Or 5,000 tons. That's better than what we had. So, you have an aft weight offset, so we'll just strip some off the aft. Down to six. Down to five, actually. That did not strip enough. All right, what's well, coming out? Citadel five, we're gonna knock you down to a Citadel three. Let's see, that's a little more weight, not much. It did strip about 2,000 tons out. I actually didn't even put the better steering in either. I did 2,000 tons back on. Sixteens weight an absolute shit ton. This upgrading to the 16s is a bastard, but I don't want to put 15s on again, because it, otherwise just the same ship as the last one. Where am I going to strip? Do I give her the F extra draft? No, I do not. Do, 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 do. Maybe go down to 15 quad barrels, I guess. Mm, 
need those 16s to upgrade to Mark IV is probably really usable, I'm guessing. That's 3,097 tons. What were 16s? 3,643, so... It's 1,800 tons right there. Lag I get while constructing these ships sometimes. Let's strip that armor back down. Still 3,000 tons overweight. That's going back up. These are quad guns now. That's a thing also. Let's drop this to eight. Drop this to eight. Still 3,000 tons over. There are super heavy shells too. That didn't add much weight, so that's not a big deal. I guess we dropped the increased torpedo complement. There we go. 2,000 tons over now. Let's take it off the main belt. Strip too much off though. In that conning tower in town of 10. I keep doing that. She's not going to eat hits well if I keep doing that. I don't want to reduce her range either. I guess with normal quarters. All right, that just brought us a little bit underweight. There we go. Bring that belt back up. Not by much, though. But my range finding and the accuracy of these guns should be good enough protection. I think that'll do it. $46 billion price tag. These guns have a range of 32 kilometers. Reload time of 82 seconds, though, because it's quad guns. Not too crazy about this one. I really want the 16s on there. But I need them to go up another mark before they're usable for me, really. So we'll roll with her for now. Hopefully she uh, survives to the next refit. But hopefully she builds before the next refit. <laughs> All right, it's now June of 1946, and we are at war with Spain. I had to wait over a year before I can actually uh, push us to the brink of war, as I was using so much shipyard tonnage that refitting my battleships actually took. One of the battleship refits took 13 months. That's the refit. <laughs> Not even the build. Good God. I'm making some decidedly large ships now. So I have both the uh, Italian station and East Africa station off the coast of southern Spain. We are just beginning a naval invasion. We do have a couple of meeting engagements and a convoy mission here. So it looks like the Berbera fleet, led by the Vitellius, has run into a fairly large... Spanish fleet here, but their heaviest ship, their battleship, San Juan de Dio, is only 29,879 tons. She's mounting five triple 14.3s, two triple 5.4s, six single 4.2s, a lot of secondaries. No torpedoes. And seven heavy cruisers of just under 13,000 tons. Five light cruisers between 96 and 11,000. And enough destroyers, I'm not even going to count them. Going up against the Vitellius, the heavy cruisers Amalfi and Santa Maria, the light cruisers Vermini, 
Bari and Padua. And the destroyers Nicola Fabrizi, Augusto Roboti, Carlo Mirabello, La Massa, and the Riccio Rally. So let's go jump into this one. All right, so we actually started this engagement in range of the Spanish which is about 30 kilometers out. So I gotta quickly start getting my ship's division up the way I like them. Turn off your torpedoes until I'm ready for you to fire. Same here, because everybody's got torpedoes now, and I don't need everybody shooting each other. Let's start moving off in this direction. Well, my ships get ready to go. out the damage on their ships out here. The battleship fire. What the hell is going on? My division. Are we starting out with a glitch? That is figuring out what they're doing. Alright, where is their battleship? Alright, Vitellius. Focus her down, please. She's not very, really dangerous. These guys should be in range of my light cruisers. Probably not. It might be. Yeah, it looks like they're in range of them. Okay. Start engaging her. Amalfi. Start engaging there. Bari. Actually, you engage that ship when she comes into range. Or me engage that ship. Santa Maria. Engage that ship. Ottawa, you can fire whoever you like. Actually, Vitellius, I'm going to let you... I'm going to let everybody go torpedo free. Because they are grouped up enough where if we start sending the torps out... We should hit something. There the torps go. I'm highly doubting their ships have the ability to detect us. We have... Neat torpedo broadside on this battleship alone. We're just racking out the damage on them. Barely touched her. 14s are about to get that range. They're at 20% now. Somebody just sank. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should run my destroyers across the bow and get a torp launches in this direction. Eh, decent hit. Yeah, not even range of my light cruisers. What about the heavies? Heavies are in range. Malfi, start firing at this ship, please. Santa Maria. Let me come back here. And you're engaging that ship and hitting it, so I'll just let you be. And 
And I think we slow ourselves down to 26 knots here. Should be good for the battle line. These ships are basically a real mix of older and newer ships. Starting to knock down this battleship. Good. Why is your torpedo range... Did I not give you the... Better torpedo propulsion? I did not... Everybody's torpedo free right now, so. Oh. Those look like the torpedoes that came out of my battleship finally making over here. Looks like one of them's going to strike their battleship. Alright, Rimini, engage that ship, please. Yeah, they don't even see it coming. Please don't be a dud. Boom, baby. 3,300 points of damage. And here comes the next one. That should be a kill shot with that torpedo if she strikes. They see this one coming, but way too late. Goodbye. Baby, give me a good thumbnail. <laughs> that was beautiful. I have a tell you, it's next target. Lock on to her. Remini, who are you firing at? Rimini's a much older like cruiser. She only has the underwaters. Okay, we're firing at that destroyer. Amalfi. Talk at her, please. Bari. Same thing. Santa Maria. What are you firing at? You're still firing all the way out there. Wow. That's fine. Ottawa. Engage this destroyer out here. What's the range on these guys? I don't have them identified yet, so I don't even know what the range of their torpedoes are. About that one. Bari fired this one. Ottawa fired this one. That's what you like cruisers are here for. Stop these destroyers before they close in. Boom. Super heavy shells are just flying right through them. We're hitting that one. What about this one? Oh, we're supposed to be firing at her. Sorry, fired her. They haven't launched their torpedoes. I don't think they want to get in close enough to launch them. I don't see any traces in the water. Keep running, Navia. Keep running. There. Me take aim at her. I'll be 
focus on the Esteban. Santa Maria. Focus on the Santiago del Mayor. Does focus on the Virgin. Start circling. Time to start circling. I saw the size of the fleet and I was slightly worried, but I'm not so worried anymore. Unless their dis destroyers decide to make a really suicidal run at us. Uh, I'm not worried. There's a ranging shot. I already got 24% aim, so we should knock down that heavy cruiser fairly quickly. This is a veteran crew, so they know what they're doing. And she's already lost control. And that's an old heavy cruiser. That's a museum ship. Then again, I got light cruisers from 1915 still in service, so I can't say anything. But they're port guards. They're not trying to fight. Teens are on the way. 30% chance to hit. She's turning away, so she got her steering back. I thought her rudder was damaged, unless it just repaired it. Oh, her rudder's damaged. She's turning like that? Really? That's BS. I call BS. No way she's turning like that with a damaged rudder. Especially when she was running straight. Here's another destroyer, Rimini. Gauge. Barring gauge. That'd be the kill shot. Is her reload? Forty four seconds. Not too bad. They have the auto reloaders now. The Amarante. All right, please be the kill shot. Not yet. Almost. We need a better bow if you get her flooding up in the bow. That would have finished her. Dropping these ships just a little bit faster because it's a pretty target rich environment. We had some early quick drops, but now it's starting to engage at length. There goes a virgin. Alright. I know that's not how you pronounce it, but <laughs> it sounds good. Alright, let's finish off the San Juan. with that turn. Did not order that. So the cruiser Esteban. I think the big thing is just going to be hunting down their destroyers. Because those seem to be the most modern ships they have are the destroyers. Everything else is uh, pretty ancient. Some pretty 
want. Uh, Vitellius. Or how's that ship? Not even sure. Put your mains out here. And your secondaries over here. Everything else over here can be handled by everything that's following up. I want to see if I can knock out these destroyers before we make it out to them. Or before they run away. There's a few of them out there. Making a suicide run, doesn't look like it. I think all they've done so far is scratch my paint. Heavy cruiser has not been engaged. Santa Maria. You fire and fire at her. Ottawa, focus all your fire on that heavy cruiser. Bari. You're doing it. Almafi. Arthur Ambrosia. Germany. Shota Cervante. Tell you this, put your secondaries on to the ordeal. Singing all the destroyers out there now, that's good. Where's your torpedo range? Oh, we just moved into it. Port. We're on the edge of their range, so they may fire, they may not. No, we moved into it, but. I think we just put her down before she fires. Let's speed this along. her off yet. Come on, boys. I know you guys can shoot. Put her down. There she goes. Just let everybody fire wherever they want. AI wants us to end the battle. That's not happening. Nothing gets out. Nobody gets out alive. We're turning this scene to Harlan County. You're desperate. 16 kilometers. We're closing in on her. Focus on that destroyer. Oh, I just wanted the battleship to focus on her. Everybody else reset your fire.
Somebody's coming in on a run, like Cruiser. They are not gonna make it. Stars are coming into screen like they're supposed to. Very good. Uh, really, this is gonna come down to clean up, so I'll be back. Alright, we finally finished off this fight. It took me quite a bit longer because I'd hunt down all the uh, separate destroyers and some like cruisers. At the end of the day, we lost zero ships next to no damage. We lost 136 crewmen to their 14,839, sinking all 30 of their ships, giving us 22,059 victory points to their 11. So, uh, not a bad day's work. Right, we have our second engagement of this turn. I didn't realize, but the Spanish fleets were all outside here in the English Channel. And I guess as we were running up to war, I moved my fleets in a little early, which caused the Spanish to run their fleets into the uh, med. But that kind of works out for us. So, and they're throwing, basically throwing what's left of their fleet at the Italian station, which is probably the last thing they want to do. They're sending three heavy cruisers, no battleships, no battle cruisers. The tons between 12.5 and 13.4. Supported by quite a few light cruisers. And they're going up against the battleships Titus and Vespasian. They have cruisers Gargoliano and Sel. Light cruisers Bergamo, Reggio Calabria, and Salerno. And destroyers Escado, Benedetto Carolio, Generale Carlo Montanari. Montanari? I think that's it. Benembo and uh, Tota Borosi. So these are my actually my five newest destroyers. So the new light cruisers aren't done. So these are the cruisers from the last class we designed. And same with the heavy cruisers. And the new battleship is still under construction. But we'll, you'll get to see what I did with the 25 torpedo broadside on the battleship. This is going to be fun. All right, we're already starting this engagement once again in range. Of the enemy fleet. See, we got the Titus here. And uh, you can see what I did to her. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 torpedo broadside on this girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's split you guys in half. So. The Calabria up to Division 1. Ammo. Salerno. The Vespasian. The Bergamo. And the Cell. Destroyers are on division again. Turn your torpedoes off. Start spinning here. That's a beautiful ship. I do say so myself. If nobody else agrees with me, I think she's a beautiful ship. Ooh, in bad. The reload. I increased her guns to 14.9s. I didn't put the 15s on. 62 second reload. It's a regular crew. We're just sinking museum fleets at this point. You're just sinking museum fleets. I think this might be their heavy cruiser, too. Yep. 9, 8% aimed. 
I may have a mind just to let my ships do what they want for this fight. I want to see these 14.9s flying in. Looks like the Vespasian's aimed at her also. No chance to hit. And Titus just fired. It's just too foggy. I usually see them firing in the distance, but I think it's just way too foggy for it. Here they come. Everybody on these deck guns is going to be puckered up. Oh, we just disintegrated her with that hit. Nice. Beautiful. I mean, this poor weather, so I'm going to speed this along. Probably not much to show here because we can't see nothing. I'm looking at here. Oh, there's a heavy cruiser. So that was one of the lights we just disintegrated. Titus is aimed at her. Probably everybody aimed at this one ship, probably. Somebody in the back here, the other one. Oh, she's almost finished already. And we lost our aim. We had a better aim than that. Just at that arranging shot. My ships are still trying to get into division, too. percent Let's drop our division down to 22. Everybody a better chance to hit. They're still not even firing at us. Titus switched targets. I when they do that. Who's firing at you? A space unit is okay. How much chance to hit, though? Now the Vespasian is no longer aimed at her. Okay. We got a heavy cruiser on top of us. We're not aimed. Throw the ammo. Put all your guns on her. Same with the cell. And she just started firing. I just launched her torps yet. Yes, she did. We're not going to be able to track those. I'm not going to be able to find them. They fired behind us. I'm not going to be able to find those. Let's pick this up. And there goes her underwaters. Oh, yeah, she has more than a 25 torpedo broadside, honestly. <laughs> I think it's a 27. I think she's aimed here. Nope, she's aimed behind. Alright, Titus, let's stop screwing around. Take down this heavy cruiser. Guns on her. 
Spacey and focus on this one. Some torpedoes flying through. There's a good hit. Should be taking shots from Titus soon. It's five inches of punching her armor, so that's a good sign. Whoa! What happened to Salerno? Who hit her? Who hit the Salerno? My own destroyers, I did not turn off their torpedoes. Damn it! That's an expensive loss. I forgot to turn off the torpedoes on my destroyers. Ugh. But this is... You know, this is something the AI should be cognizant of. They're, they're behind the main battle line. They should not be firing their torpedoes. I can't believe I forgot to turn them off. That's an expensive loss. And that's going to give... <laughs> the Spanish a lot of points they don't deserve. Ugh, God. That hurts. I wonder how many points that's going to give them. Because that's one of the newer light cruisers. flying at me. Don't worry about that. I'm not sure what's there. It's hard to see in this weather. Spacing took a hit. That's probably from our own torpedoes again, also. Yeah, that much damage. She took a hit from our own torpedoes. Friggin' destroyer captains. Hit. I didn't see that one. Can't see nothing right now. Let's focus on the Cubrasso. She's right there. points of damage. That thing was tiny. I don't have to worry about their torpedoes. I can worry about my own.
this is probably gonna take a few minutes longer. This is not kind of a boring fight. This is just a straight up seal clubbing. So, I'll be back. And a massive first for me, even though we have a victory, the Spanish have more victory points. That they don't deserve because we sank our own light cruiser. So we lost 1,369 souls on that ship. We've taken down another 14,998 Spaniards. And sank 23 more of their ships. <sighs> Goodbye, Salerno. Yeah. First refit on that ship. She was an expensive girl. Ugh, that hurts. That hurts. Ugh. All right, we have moved into the next turn. And we have cornered. It looks like they were trying to run into port. But they uh, couldn't get past us. We've cornered the last Spanish battleship, the Pedrano. Heavy cruiser torpedo. I think they only got one or two heavy cruisers and one battle cruiser. And two light cruisers. This is battle second and the Ceres and two destroyers, Lanier and Destructor. So there's not much of their fleet left. These are the heaviest ships right here outside the missing battle cruiser. So uh, let's go seal club them down real fast and. Make sure our destroyer's torpedoes are turned off until I need them. Alright, we start our engagement against the Spanish fleet here. And actually, this battleship is not a bad design at all. This is probably the most logically designed battleship I've seen this entire campaign, <laughs> I'm going to say. Actually, not that shabby looking. Alright, Vespasian, target her down. Titus, target that heavy cruiser. Everybody else, just fire whoever you want to fire at. They're actually sailing towards us. I thought they were going to be trying to get away from us. But it looks like they're actually coming right at us. I did take some more torpedo hits when I cut off the uh, video on the last battle, so uh, my spacing's down a little more damage. Same with Titus, but not much more. You know, I have seasoned crews. These 14s have a reload of 51.3 seconds. Still strike. No for way short. Except for that one, which actually ricocheted. Just fire. Let's see what's going to happen here. Coming in with a nice tight group there. Going to hit. Of course not. Not one struck. Keep targeting you. No. I don't target her. Target the ship behind. Silly. Gotta get it on the battleship when I wasn't looking. Torpedoes are out.
course not. Yeah, one of them penetrated out of the funnel. Slow her down just a little bit more. What the hell was that? Sh oh, one good hit. Look at that. One good hit just rocked her. Super heavy shells. You gotta love them. I don't think anybody else is using them. Right, Titus, turn your attention to that runner. Just fired off. Rushy's blocking the shots. Here come the torpedoes. Sailing right towards them. Does she detect? Yep, she's starting to turn. She detected. Might be a little too late. That's a fairly decent spread there. Not that great of a spread, but decent. A little miss, but they might strike one of these cruisers back here. This one looks like it's going to strike. That one's definitely going to strike. These two are going to go by the bow. These two are definitely striking. One in the bow, one possibly midships. There we go. That's what I want to see. A lot of damn... Boom! <laughs> Oh, that was a beautiful looking blow up. He is done. Gone, baby, gone. Oh! Yeah, it's just all of her ammo exploding. That should have just broke her back in half. Still not down yet. That's it. She's done. Here come even more torpedoes. <laughs> so right on top of each other makes them both an easy target. Everything's flying out. Goodbye. Yeah, you're the only one left. We're gonna speed this up. I'm gonna watch her go down. Unless there's a destroyer hiding out of here somewhere. This should be the last ship. Saving her as a smoke. We can easily run this ship down. Uh, do the honorable thing. Go down with the rest of your fleet. Oof. Yourselves to David Jones. Goodbye. Uh, almost makes up for losing one of my light cruisers. So we lost two crewmen to their 4,336 crewmen. Got all six of their ships. Battleship, a heavy cruiser, two lights, and two DD. So I think all they have left now is a battle cruiser and a bunch of lights and destroyers. We'll take a look at that. All right, I thought we were going to hunt to hunt down the, this battle cruiser and the, these heavy cruisers. These are the last of the heavy ships of the Spanish fleet. They moved everything into the Mediterranean right before the war started. Then they just ran them through the minefield, so they should be damaged. So they're going up against the East Africa fleet, led by the Vitellius. 
So it's the Battle Cruiser Santa Agueda. Same tonnage as their battleships. Rocking two dual 13.4s, four triple elevens. I think I'm probably more worried about those elevens. They might be a good a good gun. Three heavy cruisers. A bunch of lights. Nine light cruisers. And eight destroyers. I think this might actually be no. Nope, there's something up here too, so it's almost the end of their fleet. This is base. This is base. This is the bulk of what's left. We've literally just destroyed everything. So uh, let's go put their navy out of its misery. We're basically starting engaging the once again engaging Spanish right away, just due to the sheer range of our guns. Bringing out some damage already. Where's that battle cruiser? Tellius, make sure you're focused on her, please. Everybody else can fire at whoever they want. Just entering torp range. I'm gonna hold off on. I got everybody's torps turned off for right now. Including the destroyers. I wanna try. The frame. I want to get my torpedoes aimed at ships back here. Take all the way at the rear and see if we can't flood, just flood the area with torpedoes. I want to try and get a good spread with everybody. Definitely in torpedo range. I need to pick up one of these ships back here to fire at. You're running low on Used up that much of our AP ammo in the first battle, really. Some shells. She's starting to fire. Actually got a ricochet, okay. Perfect. Put our torpedoes onto whoever this is. Just give me an aggressive launch. Same target. So you're going to target that one and send your torps there. So target your torps there. Give me an aggressive launch. Bari. Your torps there. Aggressive launch, Santa Maria. Two torps on that one. Aggressive launch. Padua. Okay. Two torps left in your wing. Target her, give me an aggressive launch. Torps on their way out. They've been on their way out. Where the hell are they? There they go. Let's see how this tactic works. AP, that's to be expected. It's in my torps, yeah, but I think we should start seeing them soon.
What I'm hoping is, with the way I did the spreads firing at the rear ships, it should just send the torps into the formation and do some damage. You know, on the lighter battle cruiser, I may have to start upgrading my guns. Started seeing those torpedoes by now. Hit them. Oh! Good hit. Somebody started sinking and the torpedoes are coming in. There's one. Where the hell's the rest? They'll blow up out here somewhere. I'll just reach out to this ass. We might strike somebody back there. What's going on with their formation? There's some more torpedoes back that way. What is up with this formation? Can't even reach out. Not yet, at least. I'm off the Bertha Castilla. How are you? Can't reach Santa Maria. Bertha Macasti. Just had a power outage real fast there while the uh, game was going to set black screens for a second. Temperature's hot today. I think everybody's turning on their air conditioners. They're kind of killing the power grid. Come on, put this thing out of its misery. How are those guns even firing? They're pointed at the water. That torpedo tactic worked the way I wanted it to. Three shots of AP left with my F-14s up. Oh, we're actively sailing away. That's a... I'm not used to that. Destroyers, we're going in. Time for you to do some work. Besides sinking friendly ships. I 
This one's a sexy destroyer. You guys just reset your rain. I'm gonna send the destroyers to finish off the battle cruiser and the two lights supporting it. You guys just hunt everybody else down. Fire your torps at me. I'll just avoid them. You heard of Tokyo Drift? We call this the Roma Drift. You did got a good job of forcing me off course on the uh, battle cruiser, though. Amasa. Your torps on the volcano. She's close enough, she's not dodging. Not spin that launcher. Avoiding all those. If she does, I'm calling BS. And the first one's a dud. Two duds. Really? I'm calling BS on that. You can be talking to Nevada. Give her to start turning, then we'll target her. Where's she gonna turn? I'm gonna launch. We got the fours. Engines have not been taken out while you dropping dead in the water. Goodbye. And somehow you're still afloat. No, oh, that's why avoidance is on. Daniel just surrendered. Bello, give me a target on the Africa. I think we're passing by too fast, yeah. Really, the aggressive launch is fire at her. And don't launch them once you're passing by the. Uh, no, let's turn that off. I'm gonna fire them as soon as we're going by the volcano. She's finished anyway. Alacruz is the target. I'm getting distracted. 
not let her get away. Pass by the side that's up in the air. You guys start spinning in tighter. We're starting to get a little bit of too much distance. Cruiser, for as underwater as she is, she should not be moving as fast as she is. My destroyer should not be having a hard time catching up with a ship that's halfway in the water. Start spinning that launcher. Just give me an aggressive launch. She's not going to avoid these. Goodbye. Oh, if she survives that, that's going to be absolute BS. She's flooding on all her decks. She's not surviving that. Oh, Richard Rail, your torps were on? What about... Oh, everybody was on. Everybody started firing it. Ah. No. Alright. And you're about to take a hit, too. Be a dud, please. Ah, 300 points of damage. No big deal. Alright, get out. Everybody get out. Putting her down, anyway. Now, let's speed this along. It's only there light ships left. I'm surprised the AI is not called for an end to the battle like it usually does. warnings on those torpedoes. What the hell? Even if they're running in oxygen, I should be able to pick them up. Well, that's just because I'm running the game too fast, which is the biggest, best possibility. I still have all three heavy cruisers. Vitellius, focus them down. Malfi. Santa Maria. Same time. Look how last of the cruise and go after the lights.
Is that it? Yes, it is. All right, we lost 84 crew members. They lost 12,271. We sank 21 ships. We got 31,129 victory points out of that. That battle cruiser must have been worth a lot. It's only 558 million. She's nowhere near the cost of any of my ships. The Santa Maria, which is a displacement of 17,995. Is worth more. <laughs> Since the last refit, she's worth 3.5 billion. Oh yeah. Yeah, just me losing one or two ships to edit the Spanish is like catastrophic point wise. Alright, our invasion Southern Spain is not going as planned. As the amount of tonnage I needed doubled. So I needed 200,000 tons to even start the invasion. It's now jumped to 448,000 tons. I'd like to know how that happened. I'd really love to know how that happened. So we now have a 0% chance on this invasion. We need 200,000 tons. I got almost 400. I would have 450 if I hadn't lost that light cruiser in the air, which would have given us a very good chance of succeeding. So what the hell happened here? I have no idea. But uh, I think this is a good place to end this episode. This is taking me a very long time to shoot, especially because of all the refits. So uh, once again, if you're a new viewer, return viewer, you're not yet subscribed, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If you do remember that bell icon so the next video comes out. If you're following along the series and enjoying it, don't forget to drop an AP shell into that like button and HE shell into that comment section. And I will see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.